Hey guys, it's Ellen here, and today we're painting Mini Monday Madness Snowmen. Yes, these cute little snowmen. Super easy to paint, super easy to draw. I'm going to first show you how to draw snowmen. So you can create your own unique, fun, cute little snowmen, and then move, move on from there. And then I show you how to paint up a couple of these snowmen so that you don't feel intimidated. Um, also, if you're a Patreon member, you can download a traceable that goes with all these little snowmen, and there's a couple of bonus ones in here that are not in the video that you will have with the traceable. If you're not a Patreon member, it's a place people go and support my channel with. I have ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials, and live stream once a month in the top tier. You can check it out in a second on the top right. Um, it will pop up. Um, if you haven't hit the bell notification button, please hit the bell notification button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. So let's get painting. There are so many really cute and cool little mini books today and papers. I show a video on all the Legion ones that I have. The cold press, black, heavy, and hot press. But I was gifted um, with one of my Jerry Otterama purchases. These little Soho urban artist um, kind of mini books. Oh, they're so cute. There was a marker one. Uh, there's a little tracing pad. I mean, how cute is that? This is a canvas paper for acrylic paints. And a little sketch. And I think this is so fun. I can practice with like the little sketchbook how I would like to make maybe some snowmen for my mini painting this week, you know? So. I talk about, I like to use 2H pencils a lot. Uh, I think I have a link for them in my tutorials description and all my tutorials, but um, cause they're a light pencil. And sometimes if you don't want to see the pencil marks, it's good to use. And I always tell people snowmen are so easy and so much fun. There's your circle. Then you know, you do a little curve and you can have it going up or down or just like a little in the middle. Then you figure the hat can go like here across and draw here the band and it's, this is just like a little knit cap you do the fuzzies like that and then you would erase this my little kneaded eraser the middle part right and then you can put in a scarf which is basically a line across line down so it's a rectangle another rectangle kind of leaning here and then his body and you do all the little marks for a carrot nose and you could do balls for his mouth or I like to just do a line and two little eyeballs and you just do these line double line parallel lines curving towards the hat and you've got that knitted cap and then for the scarf you see how simple I know you say you can't do this but you can and you just do a little teeny V's all along the hat for his knitted cap. For another snowman, he doesn't have to be a knitted cap. Oh, you can make him like this. You do another round one here. The ball of his body. Again, with the nose, maybe skinny or longer. You can put another scarf on him. Again, go it this way if you want to. But this time have the bowler type hat, the big old hat, the typical hat with the band. So it's like a square almost skinny little rectangle leaning on its side and then you get the two little eyes and the mouth and then you can add stick arms and then you've got another snowman see that and you can do little balls for a stomach and add snowflakes which is just a line down across crisscross down cross crisscross down, cross, crisscross. <laughs> you see all these things? Drawing is pretty easy. Then you just start playing around with the facial and the, you know, all the all that stuff. So again, you do the ball for his head. You could do the nose skinny. And like again, I can make them going up, right? Again with the smile on the eyes. The hat could be different. It's one of those knitted caps that goes down like that. So I have a line coming here, curving in, curving in. That's the string. Again, it's like a knitted hat with a little pom-pom. And you do more like stripes. 
bum, 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 bum. sound effects. This one doesn't have to have a scarf, it could have a bow tie. I know it seems kind of silly with the knitted cap, but why not? There are no rules. Stop pretending. They're rules. We don't do rules here. Again, a little nose. Just still sketching. <laughs> I mean, you can, it's endless. Here yeah, we could do another body snowman ball. I can, you do, some people do three. I like to do two. We can make this one a little more serious. With the scarf, could be skinnier. See? Curve it, fill it in. It can wiggle a little bit down here, like it's blowing in the wind and wiggle, wiggle. Blowing the wind. The hand. Uh, it can move like a branch. Again with the nose. You could do the dots. See, I did the dots this time. And then the hat. It can be that same hat, but maybe taller and skinnier, right? And then maybe stripes. This is how you change things up, guys. Little eyes. This one could have buttons. Big buttons. <laughs> Lighting is terrible. Woo! So little wings, and you draw another one inside, and two little ba balls right there. And that's a button. So all these are all the fun things you can do. And you can have him holding a present. Square or a little rectangle and a bow. Right? He's sitting in the snow, and obviously you can put the snow around him. You could put something on the ground, more presents, or an animal, or a tree, a little tree in the background. You want to play around with the snowman. There's so many things you could do. You know, again, I do the ball, the ball. He could actually have feet. Could be ice skating. Little branch hand. He could be wearing a vest. Doing the nose this way. Doing the knitted cap. Wait, 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 wait. Sound effects. <laughs> and maybe he has a little birdie on his branch. So birdie, it's just a circle. Circle with a smile. So circle, smile, go across, triangle nose, little feet. Birdie. Circle with a smile. So now you see me draw all these fun things, right? Now for the snow, you might do a mound here and here. So he's in the snow. And you could do the buttons like this. And then you just have the snow all around him. So this is how you draw snowmen. You gotta think of shapes, guys. Around. Now say the page is this way. You just wanna have his face. I have a tutorial on this on my YouTube. Just his face with his nose going up. His eyes will be up. Smile. And you could have a bird on his head, a present on his head, anything on his head, right? So maybe you do the bird. Here we go. Circle with the smile. But the smile goes halfway in the circle. And then go across. So it's basically a half circle. Circle with a half, bigger half circle. Little feet. Triangle nose. You'll brace this part. You can put a little hat on this guy just like you did in the snowman. And a scarf. And you can have a little eye. Right? Simple ways to draw a snowman. And then you can put in the snowflakes. Or you can write words. How many snowmans do I have? Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you can get really even more technical. You can put a couple of snowmen in here. We got one here and one here. Ball, ball, ball ball. So they could be hanging out with each other. The nose, nose, scarf, scarf. Scarf goes down on this side. It can go down in the front on this side or the other side. Can have arms, doesn't have to have arms. 
and if I was like, hey, we're hanging out. <laughs> this one could be the, the little child, so it has like a knitted cap. This one could be the dad that has the big bowler head. The eyes and the smile, eyes, and then maybe the little button mouth. And then you can write, Merry Christmas. You see that? Different ways to do your snowman. You combine them. So now you have them. And then you do the snowflakes. You could put a bird on the ground. Put a bird on the hat. Put a present down below. A couple of presents. That's what I would be doing, guys. Just fun ways to do it. All these different snowmen. So now you have your drawings. So let's incorporate that into some paintings. So as you see for um, the actual painting part, I did a similar snowman. This time I made the this part of my actual sweater so it's curved here and then goes down here and I'm using it on my Stonehenge aqua cold pressed paper. So we'll just go over this how I painted this. So I sped this up a little bit because it was pretty long. So I'm mixing my cadmium uh, yellow deep with my magenta, quinacqua magenta to make the red color that I like. And I set up by making these V's or like hearts in a row, one on top of each other, two by two along the neck. You see there? Um, you know, I decided I was gonna fill it in because I felt like it was too light. So I'll just fill this whole neck part in and I'll go back over it later with the same kind of premise with the, the two by two heart V's with a much darker red. Now I'm gonna mix my neutral tint with some uh, ultramarine blue. I'm gonna make like a nice light gray going around his, you know, his face on the sides and kind of blend it in with some water. Very simply, you just take, I make it a little bit darker. I'll add a little more in there on the side, so you can see the, the darker gray. Then I'm gonna go down and add some orange to his nose. I'm brilliant orange or just whatever. If you have red and yellow, mix the orange and just fill in the nose with an orange color. I'll go back and. Uh, you know, darken up the sides of his face too. Now I just mix up a green. This is a green with peacock blue and uh, Kevin Yellow Deep. I'll just fill the whole little knitted cap in with those two colors. Now you can make any green you want. Uh, I decided to make a little pom-pom hat. So I'm taking like my neutral tint, some grays, or even some dark greens. I'm just gonna throwing in just little sprays to make the pom-pom. And here I'm filling in the red, like we talked about. And then we're going to go back in and we'll talk about details once it all dries. So now I mix up some dark green using the same greens, just adding a little Prussian blue, a little burnt number, and I'll just kind of fill in the top pot. See that? Just like on the side there. Yep. And then a little bit on the, the edge of the top of the rim of the, the knit cap. And I'll do in the bottom part too, just a little bit. I'm using my number four, by the way, my Princeton number four brush. Um, I think I put that in the description box that I was using number four and eight, but I think I'm just using number four. And I'll get it a little bit darker, which means less paint, a little more blue, Prussian blue. And see, I'm gonna go put a little more of that edge color. Now, sorry about my lighting. My lamp just keeps fluctuating back and forth, going bright to not light. <laughs> it's just, completely annoying. So now I'm going to go in and fill in that red. I'm going to let that dry and then go back in and do that dark red bees that we talked about. In the meantime, water down some red and make some cute little round cheeks. You just put those on there. You could tweak the um, snowman itself by adding some deeper grays on the sides, just like I'm doing here. Just tweak it. And again, again with the little pom-pom, add a little more blues or some grays in the side. I'm just kind of tweaking up my nose here. And now I'm gonna add the deeper bees. I'm using some crimson with some, um, the red that I had before, with a touch maybe like Prussian blue, some brown, just to get a really deep red. And I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna make those same bees that I did before, outline it in a much deeper red, almost like a reddish black, you know. I'm gonna go in a couple of times to do this. See, I'm zooming in a little bit. So I'm making this little heart 
as you can see a little heart and I go along like I did before you know sometimes you have to play around with figuring out if the color is dark enough light enough and it, to me it was not dark enough so I decided to paint the whole thing red and go really back in there with some deep 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 red I'll throw in some highlights at the end with some gouache but right now I'm just gonna get that deep red and if it's not dark enough when it dries I'll add even more deeper color just to fill that in so you can keep adding in some darker color so you can really see the predominant like knitted bees those thick knitted um, knots you see on sweaters and put a little darker tone underneath it and even more still get even darker see I'm just adding a little bit deeper color just to highlight that even more so moving on I'll add some deeper tones to the sweater too itself on the under the cow neck part of it and then the, on the side to get a little bit deeper tone and we're gonna be adding some like nice white gouache V's to this to make it look like a little argyle sweater at this point I'll add a little darker orange just make these rounded lines coming from the the nose just to give some definition that's a carrot nose I'm gonna zoom in now and now we're gonna just tweak and add some deep green to the top rim of the knitted cap see I'm doing these parallel lines boop 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 little sound effects <laughs> and you can do little V's on top you don't have to make it in dark green you can also make it in white if you didn't want it dark green or another color if you like um, I'm just making it a little bit simpler by making it in the dark green just go across the cap the whole cap and just fill that in the deeper color you can do the same thing with the red sweater although I'm gonna go in and add um, some white gouache ones to make it white with mine and I'm actually adding a little bit deeper color on the side here you see I'm just gonna kind of washing in just kind of mushing in that color around that I was just using on the top on the sides and the bottom just like that okay once I finish that I'm gonna grab some you know black or neutral tint and I'm gonna put in a nice cute little smile and do the little dotted eyes for his cute little face here I'm just gonna darken up that um, knitted rib you know neck part I'm gonna add some more like deeper tones almost black to get it really to pop just go right back in there and fix that and tweak that all right now I'm gonna grab my gouache I'm gonna mix it up and add some water you want to make it good consistency that it's not super loose just thick enough that you can put it on the brush you know almost like a acrylic thickness because if it's too loose it's just gonna be watery to get a, get a good consistency and then we'll just start sticking our little V's all over his little sweater just like this now you can do them in a row I'm gonna kind of have haphazardly stick them around it just uh, looks a little cuter that way <laughs> it's fun to make these little sweaters like I said you could do a pattern you could do it like a white and then like a green then white and a green play around with it have fun with it and then I would go in and highlight some of those um, you know I'm gonna fill in some of this area but I'm gonna go in and highlight the um, the top of the, the neck of the sweater so that um, it just again it pops out more so you just take that gouache and do that so I'm just going right on the top like the top half of those little each little V's I wouldn't do every one of them you know you just do a few of them just like gives it a little pop and there you go isn't it cute he's super cute now here's the guy with that top hat right so you know the same kind of premises you can take the gray for his face and water this down it's a bluish gray kind of like make it thicker on this side as opposed to the side like the other one I have him holding an ornament but I showed you you guys how he did he held a present on the other one so I have that color and his body's gonna be white so I have that body he's got a full body and I put a little shadow under the scarf now mine's in the blue gray tone you can make a gray gray whatever color you want to do okay. in between the little scarf 
Give a little shadow. In the hat, well, I would put like a red band on the hat. And I think I have him holding a red ornament. And I always tell you guys, I like to do a little halo. Don't worry about the, the hands because it's going to go right over it. So I'll put, I'll leave this part white, just like that. See, circle, fill it in, leave this part like a little halo. If you mess up, you can just use white gouache. Maybe add a deeper red just on the edge here on the right side. See, just bleed in a little bit on this side. Same thing with the hat. You can do it on both sides in the hat if you want to. And there's the ornament. So now I'm just going to fill in his scarf with a nice green, medium green, whatever green you have just from the first one. Just going to fill it all in. I sped this up because, you know, you don't need to show me, have me show you how to put green and how to fill it in. You're just going to see how I just make the second one. Um, just fill in the green. And if the hat will be obviously like a, a deep black, a neutral gray. I left a little white line in the middle there. If you forget to do that, just kind of like look at it. It looks like it has like that, that sheen, a three-dimensional look. If you get to do that, don't worry about it. You can always just put in a white gouache at the end and just kind of create that. So if you've got the cute little top hat, I'm making it pretty dark, you know. I want to make it nice and black, deep color. Now I'm just going to fill in the orange nose like we did in the other ones. Make it whatever color you want. Make it thick as one, whatever, however, however, however you want to make it. I'm just cleaning up some of the mess that I made on the snowman guy. <laughs> Um, I'm adding a little bluish gray to the bottom to show that he's like standing on snow. So what I did is I mixed a little ultramarine with my neutral tint and get a little blue, or I can add a little peacock blue. Now I'm grabbing my dark green. I'm just going to underline the side of the, the this the scarf and then a little bit of shading on the back um, scarf part and add the little phrase in the bottom with the dark green. I'll go back in and add you know some stripes or whatever I feel like to do on his you know, scarf or whatnot. So I'm going to make them dark green. You can make them whatever color you want. If you had forethought, you know, you might want to just do it um, maybe white in between, or you could add gouache in between, you know, play around with it. Um, at this point, you know, do more shading. I'll add his little arms. And for the arms, I'm going to mix like um, burnt umber and black. Just pick little stick arms. Super easy. I'll play around with it. And just have him holding that ornament. Yay, I'm holding the ornament. <laughs> a little sound effect. Really simple, guys. You can do stick arms. And then um, I'm just going to grab a little black to do the little cap to the ornament, which is basically like a little rectangle, and then a little hook. I'm just going to tweak the hat. I'll probably end up tweaking the um, the sides of his body, just a little bit deeper gray, just to get it like a little more punch to it, maybe add a little blue to it. Uh, put in some watered-down red rosy cheeks. Kind of the red you use for the cap. Just water it down, let that dry. When that dries, you can put it in the mouth. So I'm here, I'm just gonna go and put some buttons in. Take the same red, make a circle, and then make another circle inside that, leaving a little white in between. And when that dries, we can add little white dots in the center to make it look like a button. Kind of cute, right? And I'm gonna go back in and add some, like I said, some deeper gray tones and blue tones, just to highlight the snow and his body just to give him a little more something. See, I'm going to add the two little dots inside the um, buttons. So it looks like little buttons. Just simple. Um, I can add some gouache on his scarf just to punch up the stripe a little bit, change it up. I can add a red. Do whatever you want. What makes you feel good? Like I said, you could do whatever you want for the hat too. It doesn't have to be black. It could be, you know, multicolors. And it doesn't have to be a top hat. Do whatever you want. I just like to do that. And like I said, I'll go back in and I'll add some gray tones. Okay, at this point, I'm going to go back in and add his little eyes, just with the little black or the deep gray that you have, his little mouth. Yep, make him look happy. You know, you don't have to do a line mouth like I do. You can do like little dots. I could change it up. You can make the mouth different. And again, I'm going to go back in and add some 
grays just to highlight the snowman body. A little bit deeper bluish gray. This one's more a little bit more blue tones. Just so you can see like he's sitting on snow. So now it's just tweaking everything like I said before. You know, putting in some little snowflakes. I added a little extra, you know, bluish gray around his body again here and there just to punch it up a little bit. With a little snowflakes if you want to put snowflakes. I put them like a light blue color. You can do whatever you want, like I said. There's no rules. You could do gold, silver. You know, if you had the forethought to maybe mask the snowman in and paint the whole background in a deep color, you could do that. I want you guys to have fun with this. You're supposed to play around, you know. Go back in and add maybe a little red to his scarf. These are all just little extras and little tweaks you can do with each little painting. I'm just giving you some ideas on how to play around with it, change it up, make it your own. Maybe add a little shadow against the buttons, you know, do what you want. I'm getting a little bit deeper red on the one side of the button on the right hand lower side. Again, just little tweaks. So there you have this guy. Isn't he cute? <laughs> on the little mini pad that I did, I showed you guys. And there's the other guy we did. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Just super fun and easy to do. And then there's the drawing book. Like I showed you how to draw them. If you don't know how to draw them, I showed you. You could easily do this yourself. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And also if you're a Patreon member, you can, like I said, download the extra little traceables and the ones that go with this. I did a couple extra snowmen. So thank you guys for stopping by my channel. I appreciate it. Take care and happy painting.